this is the exists command. In a way, it's a little friendlier, especially with not exists, because it handles nulls better. But this is a little different technique to use exists to do some of the same things we've done before. In this case, we want to see everything from the customer table if the customer has placed an order. There's some similarities here, but it's different than the subqueries we've seen in the past. So we're going to say, okay, we want to find all customers who placed an order. We'll select the customer number and customer name. I could have selected everything from the customer table as top one where exists. And in the bottom query, we see select everything from the order table, bottom one, where top one dot customer number equals bottom one dot customer number. This is a correlated exists. What's interesting about exists that's different than a subquery is that most of the time we're saying in a subquery where customer number in, select customer number. It's an apples to apples one-to-one -one relationship. But here we just use the where exists. We can say select asterisk, select one, select one of the columns or two of them. It doesn't matter. If there is an exists, it's a boolean. It either did happen or it didn't. They either did place an order or they didn't. And if they find any positive, they return the row. The best reason for exists is the not exists. You see, we're going to find out which customers have not placed an order in the order table. And if we used a normal subquery and said not in, and there were nulls in the customer number coming up, it would return nothing. We've had that discussion. But exists, if there's a null down there, it don't care. So, take a look at this query. We're going to select the columns from the customer table as top one, we alias it, where not exists, then I can open the print and say select asterisk from order table and give it an alias, where top one dot customer number equals bottom one dot customer number, and I will see a report where these people have not placed an order, and again, if there were nulls, no problem, and that's the biggest reason you'll see not exists. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.